Hi, my name is Craig. And my name is Mason. And we're, we're bringing, bringing you the headline, headline news. A family is suing T-Mobile because of a baby's death. Six-month-old Brandon Alex's babysitter tried for 40 minutes to call 911 after the baby rolled off a daybed onto the floor. T-Mobile software failed to reach the police after multiple calls. She ended up racing Brandon to the hospital. There, the baby was transferred to another hospital where he was pronounced dead. A 16-year-old boy died from a caffeine overdose after drinking caffeine laden, a soft drinks, coffee, and energy drinks. D Davis Allen Cripp collapsed and died last month. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching the Wilson, Wilson Buzz. Buzz. Hi, I'm John. I'm Trent. And I'm Franklin. And this is Portrait of the Week. <clears throat> Today we're going to talk about the NBA. I will talk about the first round of the NBA playoffs. How you win a series is the first team to win four out of seven games advances. The defending champs, the Cleveland Cavaliers, swept the Indiana Pacers. The, in the favorite team to win this year's title, the Golden State Warriors, also swept the Portland Trailblazers. Only the, the only game that went into Game 7 was the Utah Jazz and Los Angeles Clippers. Other matchups were Washington versus Atlanta, Boston versus Chicago, Oklahoma City versus Houston, San Antonio versus Memphis, and Milwaukee versus Toronto. Now I will talk about the second round of the playoff. Once again, the Cleveland Cavaliers swept their opponent. This time, it was the Toronto Raptors. Just like Cleveland, the Golden State Warriors swept the Utah Jazz. Other matchups were Houston versus San Antonio and Washington versus Boston. In round three, the Warriors will face the Spurs and the Cavaliers will face the Celtics. The winners of each game will face each other in the 2017 NBA Finals. Now I will talk about the best three NBA players to ever touch a basketball in 2016 through 2017. In the number three spot, we have point guard James Harden. He plays for the Houston Rockets. He is 27. His per game stats are 28.7 points and 7.7 .7 rebounds. In the number two spot, we have Point guard Chris Paul. He plays for the team Los Angeles Clippers. He is 31 years old and his per game stats are 18.4 points and 5.1 rebounds. For the last one in the number one spot is Russell Westbrook. He, he plays for Oklahoma City Thunder as a point guard. He is 28 years old and his per game stats are 31.8 points a game and 9.6 rebounds. This was Trenton, John, and Franklin. The Sports News of the Week. Hi, I'm Kennedy. And I'm Anel. And, and this, this is softball, softball news, news of the week. First, for the Florida sophomore, after all, they're the loudest voices in the room. There's the .33 earned run average, the 2.91 hits, and 13.3 strikes out per seven innings, all best in the nation. It was an emotional postgame game in the room with for Ole Miss softball coach Mike Smith, whose Rebels just finished knock, knocking off the state and rival Mississippi State in the first round of SEC tournament directly after Wednesday's 2-1 to -one victory. Smith revealed that his grandfather had passed away at 102 years old earlier that in the morning and that he wanted to dedicate the win to him. I love you and this, is, this one's for you, Smith said while holding back tears. While holding back tears, Smith also said we had a 100-year-old birthday celebration for him a couple of years ago, and he sat in a chair and told me how much he looked forward for watching our game on TV. Smith told Rutledge, I know he was looking forward to our game today, and I'm so thankful that I got to spend the time that I did with him. The number 19 Rebels now move on to play number one Florida in the second round of the conference tournament on Thursday afternoon. I'm Anel. And I'm Kennedy. And that's all for Softball News of the Week. Hey, it's Julio. Hey, it's Isaiah. We are we back with Sports Figure of the Week. First, let's talk about Tom Brady. Tom Brady was is a good football player. He plays for Patriot. He is a good. He is a quarterback. He was born in August third, nineteen seventy-seven. He height. His height is six feet foot 
and four inches. His age is 39. He has three kids, and his, he is from New England Patriots. Professional Ailey LeBron Raymond James was born on December 30, 1984, in Akron, Ohio. At an early age, age he showed a natural talent for basketball. LeBron James joined the basketball team in Mary High School in 1999, Feb, Feb 13, 2017. LeBron James high is six feet eight inches. And that's this is all. And for this sport, is all for sport, sport figures, figures of the week. week. John, I'm doing a review on Fast and Furious 7. So after defeating Owen Shaw and his crew, or, and his crew and Mr. Fur, the Fast Crimes, Dominic, Don, Toretto, Brandon O'Connor, and the rest of the their team have returned to the United States to live normal lives again. Brian begins to accustom himself to live as a father while Don tries to help Lady Torres regain her memory. Meanwhile, Owen's older brother, Dick O'Shaw, breaks into this crowd for that. Owen is being held in the square and spent against Dom and his team before breaking to Luke's hub security service to extract the purse of Dom's crew after he owned his identity. Shaw engages Hobbs in a fight and he escapes that severely injures his team. Mia and she is pregnant again. He convinces her to tell Brent over a bomb disguised in a package. Some from Tokyo explosion and destroys the raid of house. If you want to see what happens for we next Fully happens. Watch it yourself. And my name is John, and this has been a movie review. Hi, I'm Giovanni, and this is Anime of the Week. Today's <coughs> anime, anime I will be doing is Spirited Away. This is a movie about a ten-year-old Chihiro Og Ogino, and her parents are traveling to their new home. When her father takes a wrong turn, they unknowingly enter a magical world that Chihiro's father insists on exploring. While Chihiro's eat like pigs at an empty restaurant, Chihiro finds a, an exquisite bathhouse and meets a young boy named Haku who warns her to return across the river before sunset. However, Chihiro discovers it's too late that her parents have turned into pigs and she is unable to cross the flooded river, becoming trapped in the spirit world. I'm Giovanni and this is has been this has been an <laughs>
Lawrence has played in many hit movies. She began her acting career with her first television film company, Down. She has played in many more after that. Some movies you might know today that she is a part of, some part of include the Hunger Games series, the X-Men movies, and the new movie that you most people might know today, Passengers. She has done some great things for the people at the hospital of Louisville. She has donated $2 million to the hospital in 2016. She has also gathered $40,000 to the St. Mary Center. Which is, a, which is a disabled home. The year of 2016, she was the highest paid actress in the world. She was paid $46 million for acting. She was the highest paid actress for two years running. This is Jordan. And Haley. Join in next time for another Celebrity of the Week. Hi, I'm Emma with the Anime of the Week. The anime I'm going to talk about is Kiss Him, Not Me. It, it is about a girl that is obsessed with anime, manga, and some guys at her school. In the beginning, she is chubby, but when you get to the middle of the first episode, she loses weight after watching four seasons of an anime without eating food. The next day, she gets to school, and when she gets to her class, the four guys that she likes, after seeing her after she loses weight the four guys start having a crush on her guys get to know her they start having feelings for her but they can't put a name to the feelings that they have in the middle of the season the main character bums into a girl and they have a lot in common so after a while the girl that sh the main character met starts having feelings for her in the end all four boys and one girl confess their love for the main character. She goes on separate dates with all the people that in the end she has to decide which one to choose. I'm Emma and I'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Alondra and I'm here with the Manga of the Week. Maximum Ride is a book about a group of kids that have wings and they live alone without parents. And they are running from a group of people who are trying to experiment on them. The characters' names are Max, Fang, Gazi, Izzy, and Angel. And in the first book, they, the people they are running from get Angel, and they, and then they have to go and get her back, and then they leave, they have to leave their house and find a new house because the people know where they live, and that's where the book. Is. and that's it for the manga of the week. Hello, I'm Jessica. And my name is Macy, and... Welcome back to Anime of the Week. Today we are talking about Sailor Moon. Sa Serena, also known as Sailor Moon, a moon princess who protects the Earth from evildoers who wants to take over the world. She has a school life and a hero life that protects the world with her friends Sailor Mercury, Sa Venus, Mars, Ju and Jupiter. And... And farther into the show, Sailor Moon meets her sister, Sailor Chibi Moon. She may be weak, but she can be a lot of help to the sailors. She She's sometimes oh. battles with a fellow hero named Tuxedo Mask. He's an anonymous to everybody is, and is really close to the real-life Sailor Moon who loves him. They have many battles with weird creatures that have been created with human souls and, and led by evil scientists who take the weird creatures out to destroy Sailor Scouts. Sailor Moon is a crybaby who met a talking cat named Luna, who helped her with her powers in finding her sailor friends and recruiting them, while Sailor Venus and Artemis as protector. After, after putting up with Serena, the girls can handle her constant whining and sometimes get annoyed, but still work with her. When Sailor Moon meets Sailor Yu and Sailor Neptune, they become friends but are distant to them. And when they see Sailor Plune, Udo, who is barely seen throughout the show. Well, well that's, that's all for Anime, anime of, of the Week. week. See, you see you all next, next time. time. This, this is Anime, anime of the week. week. Signing off. off. Oh. Hi, my name is Pranesi, and I'm here with the Fit of the Week. I'm going to talk about fried rice. It's a dish of cooked rice that has been stir fried in a wok of frying pan in is usually mixed with other ingredients such as eggs, vegetables, seafood, or meat. It is often by itself or to another dish. Next, I'm going to talk about the fortune cookie. It's a crisp cookie usually made from flour, sugar, vanilla, and sesame seed. 
all with a piece of paper inside of it, which is a vague prophecy. And that's it for Food of the Week. Hi, my name is Chloe, and I'm going to be talking about even more food. What I'm talking about is chow mein. Chow mein is made of English stir-fried noodles, naturally called in China chahinas. It is it stands for chow mein. This dish is popular throughout the Chinese culture and appears on the menus of Chinese restaurants. The next, the next food I'm going to be talking about is sweet and sour chicken. Sweet and sour chicken is a Germanic term for many styles of sauce. Cuisine, it is a cuisine with methods come commonly you come with is commonly used in China it it has between in England since it has been in England since the mid mid ages and remains remains popular in Europe and America going away with Chloe bye Hi, I'm Mac. I'm Eric. And I'm Colin. And, and we're, we're the, the Name News, News hosts. Host. Hi, I'm Colin. I'm talking about Little Nightmares, a 2D horror game about a little man in a raincoat named Six going around as the human world has been taken over by very weird looking monsters as they hunt you down in a hide and seek kind of style where you use your environment to hide or run for your life as large monstrous creatures try to kill you. It came out on it came out April 28th and it is on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Hi, I'm Mac. This week I'm going to talk about Forza Riders 3 Hot Wheels Expansion Pack. It came out May 9th. It lets you travel to brand new locations in Australia, a place where anything can happen. Normal drive could turn into high speed stunts and crazy loops. It takes place in six new themed islands located off the coast of Australia. They're all attached to each other with <coughs> Hot Wheels tracks. You can ride all these tracks in Hot Wheels vehicles like the Twin Mill, the Rip Rod, and the Bone Scraggler. Hi, I'm Eric. Did you know that Minecraft came out on May 11th for the Nintendo Switch? It runs on 720p. People wanted to know why Minecraft is on 1080p, and Microsoft explained why. According to IGN, Microsoft said that the system isn't powerful enough to handle it. You can get Minecraft right now for $30 on the Nintendo Switch. Minecraft is about placing blocks and going on adventures, ran explore random generated worlds, and build amazing things from the simplest of houses and to giant castles. And that's it for Giddy Video Game News. Hi, I'm Joey. I'm Sage. I'm David. And, and this, this is, is the Jokes, jokes of, of the week. week. Why did the cow cross the road? To get to the other side. <laughs> so what is black and white and red all over? A sunburned penguin. <laughs> Marriage is when two people love each other so, so much that they promise that if they ever stop, They'll fill out tons of paperwork. What would happen if pigs could fly? The prices of bacon would go up. <laughs> what is the easiest way to count a herd of cows? With a calculator. <laughs> what kind of exercise do lazy people do? Diddly squats. <laughs> A woman noticed her husband standing on the bathroom scale, sucking at his stomach. Ha, that's not going to help, she said. Sure it does, she said. It's the only way I can see the numbers. I think a lot of conflict that happened in the Wild West could have been avoided had architects in those days just made their town big enough for everyone. A farmer counted 196 cows in the field but when he rounded them up he had 200. Why are dogs like phones? Because they have caller IDs. <laughs> what if the whole ice bucket challenge is just a long game to bring down the wicked witch of the west? Greeting cards. When you care enough to send the very best but not enough to actually write something. What do you get when you cross a karate expert with a pig? A pork chop. <laughs> what do you call a sleeping dinosaur? A dino snore. 
And this, and this is, is the jokes of the week. week.